Hey people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be reviewing or doing this impression on a lot of a fragrance, which is a new release and also very hype product right now. I was dying to get my hands on this one because I reviewed the previous ones, some of them. So this is called Latsafa Asad Zanzibar, I think that's the name. And it's a very uh, new fragrance. Uh, it gets often compared to one very popular latest men's fragrance, but let me keep uh, the older brother here. Elder Brother is Latofas Asad, which is very uh, like one of the top sellers and very popular fragrance also. So let's see if this is better than this in relation. We'll talk about those uh, for those who want to know. I recently got it and uh, there's a page called Frag uh, Fragrantica Bangladesh. Um, they are the first one to bring this here. So they're already sold out. But if you're in Bangladesh, you can pre-order. They will send, I think, new shipments again. So I review, review previously. I'm really sorry. I'm... When I woke up, it, like the now the weather in Bangladesh is so bad, like it's now really getting warm and um, very humid. So fasting and this and then also working is not a very good combination. You get dehydrated, you get headaches and stuff and uh, BP go high and everything. So uh, everybody is more or less not well in Bangladesh adjusting the weather. And also I think there's a little bit of a COVID situation going on right now. So if you happen to be in Bangladesh, uh, stay hydrated, stay uh within like a uh, shelter and during the daytime especially and try not to fall sick okay i pray for you so let's see what you get previously also did yara or tools i forgot the name exactly there's a yellow bottle pink bottle i did from the women's line same line so lot of us this fragrance let's start it uh, is uh, not a very expensive fragrance i think it's under 30 dollars in bangladesh 28 dollars to be specific so 2800 taka that is the mrp right now um and then shipping and all that uh, this one comes standard one size i think it's 100 mil uh, the bottles look all right um, the box is massive basically um, the box sorry what is the time time is around 235 i think i'll do the video and have a little bit of food and i fall asleep i think today i need more sleep i took some uh, medication okay so the box i told you it looks nice i really like the logo it looks kind of like a emperor chinese emperor or something i don't know what it looks like but it looks nice it is raised or it's a glue stick on name of the fragrance edp and i think i see a few reviews of this already one of the guys chad from canada uh, but i for, i don't know how to say his last name crcs or scarce i forgot he's also doing a lot of review with the older man chad i mean <laughs> older man chad, older reviewer called chad mac chesney he is also the gentleman's journey so i've seen the new chad reviewing this and he seemed to like it a lot so really nice presentation i really like this box is nice beautiful blue color made new way but as usual, the complaint is you could have fitted like at least two bottles in there. These big boxes are not needed. I love Latafa. Uh, this is one of my most viewed uh, content on my channel. I buy many Latafas that many other people don't even uh, bother to buy. But I really would encourage if they could change the packaging to something simplistic. If this thing can go inside like a, I think Rasa sees uh, boxes like if you see Fatan. I think that box can it easily fit this so it can save costing packaging it will not take so much uh, space in your luggage the bottle seems like the same just like the previous asad it has this nice presentation it's simplistic i mean it's nothing flashy it's nice it's blue it says latafa up there the logo it reminds me of those, those fragrance latafa's fatan yeah like the shape and there's the sticker they don't usually provide um uh, like production date and all that or a batch code rather okay the cap is got weight it clicks onto place it also reminds me of uh, arma pride once i bought that fragrance that was good too so clicks onto place atomizer is really good good quality atomizer i'm wearing this here so let's spray some here couple of sprays so presentation sprayer everything is good um the price wise i think these are a little bit more pricey than other lot of us lot of us sometimes we can be like under 20. this is like around 30s so how does this fragrance uh, smell and first of all let me clarify something it's nothing to do with this one it's already said by the reviewer that i'm just going to make sure even though they're just borrowing the name i think just trying to ride on the hype train of this and the success story so they can make a popular flanker but i think if this was released on the same like a different name different line different bottle it would be a totally worth fragrance to be released but i guess they're playing safe so this fragrance uh, is uh, the big big brother of this but nothing to do with it and personally speaking i never really uh 
felt the original DNA of this Dasad was my favorite. Sabah Jalek said it really big in USA. Many people love that. It's a modern barber shop, very strong. I got the Savage uh, DNA, but at the same time got lavender, spices, really big smooth. This one has good performance, the older batches. Uh, but for me, like Savage Elixir, it's like Savage, okay? Like for me, different people have different opinion and liking, disliking. I felt it was okay, like 7 out of 10. Like good fragrance. There are other alternatives too, but this DNA, I did not really find it to be wow. But compared to that, first thing I'll tell you before I tell the smell and all that, this is way superior for me more wearable the new one and it's more upgraded it's a um, very pleasant fragrance and i can tell you many more people like this compared to this if you give to people who are not frag heads or fragrance community member or they do not read around so much or see many reviews if you ask people they will easily pick this up any day because this is way sweeter one thing performance is really really beastly right now the weather hits up to 35 36 degrees celsius with high humidity that is very hot and this kind of weather fragrance do not last i got another fragrance yesterday alongside i'll review this soon this is called blue by hamed al maghribi this is a bloody chanel perfume clone uh, but i was wearing this one and that blue as i was testing it outdoors see how much endurance it can have this thing beaten hamed al maghribi by few hours okay so overall i got easily over seven hours in the high heat so on my skin even though faint dry down but overall this is a beastly performer in the initial impression I went with five sprays, shirt and skin combined. This thing is built for performance. This is definitely good performance. And I feel much stronger than Asad. Asad has good longevity, but this has more presence. How does it smell like? So uh, this fragrance is, as I told you, get compared to very high fragrance right now, which is expensive. Le Beau Le Parfum, which I own. So to do a comparison, you cannot simply read notes. You have to try the fragrances side by side. And uh, then you can compare. I am wearing this Le Beau Le Parfum here. I also have Le Beau. Uh, which is a good fragrance it is a good fragrance i have it i do have it but i don't know where i have it you know i'm sorry you know like eesh. i had it here anyway so uh le beau le parfum is actually much more thicker more uh, how to say um uh, beastly performer i think it would be a good fragrance not only for summer in the winter also it has good longevity it has this coconutty sort of like a sweet kind of a fragrance which is mild spicy but more like a tropical kind of fragrance which also has i think a salt accord vanilla and lavender so this thing gets compared to that i'll tell you one thing uh let me finish this here like the comparison they are not the same there is obviously yes the note of coconut which you know latafa is really good they're putting their fragrance on fragrantica they have black pepper lavender coconut water iris salt vanilla and incense yeah maybe two or three notes are common with Le Bole perfume but this is not a clone of that this is a sweeter fragrance compared to Le Mal, uh, sorry Le Bole perfume Le Bole perfume it's good I'm not having any issue with it I really like this but I think it's way overpriced and overkill for what it is I mean I bought the fragrance but I don't worry so much I think you need a little bit easier with it it's very sweet and very salty and sweet it's kind of like a green and my mother doesn't like this fragrance once she asked me like why are you wearing a buck spray so <laughs> I guess I like Lebo original more, but this has good performance, eight hours. So this thing, let me tell you, if this is not a clone of that, what is it? When you smell it for the first time, you definitely smell something citrusy opening. Definitely there's a citrus which is not mentioned, but I definitely, when I compare it especially with Lebo Le Parfum, this one has a citrusy opening. And the citrus is actually accompanied instantly by sweetness. It's a very sweet fragrance. And uh, the opening is very, very beautiful. Like uh, if you are like a fan of Valentino fragrances, Invictus's, Invictus Elixir or uh, Bad Boy, Le Parfum, you know, all those sweet clubbing fragrance, 1 million. This is close to 1 million uh, Royal. Okay, I think I would say I do have that fragrance, uh, Royal and then Elixir. If you like those fragrances, yeah, these are the fragrances. I mean, I'll keep it here. Okay. So if you like those, yeah, this is kind of similar, but it is more sweet. So it has this creamy sort of lavender ish, but that lavender is not the lavender from Asad. No spices here, just a sweet. You know, take a scoop of, uh, uh, at first, coconut ice cream, you know, like if you go to Thai restaurants, they give you coconut ice cream with, uh, I think sometimes that uh, sticky rice and mango sticky rice, if you know the Thai mango. So it does, the, the dessert, this fragrance reminds me of the dessert. Uh, also, when you go to the dry down, the same scoop of ice cream becomes sort of like a, a caramel, um, how do I say, caramel creamy 
mangoey you know mango caramel so this whole like a scoop of ice cream very thick sweet uh, the vanilla is definitely they're very powerful and it's literally like a dessert okay so this is not for official purpose this is not for very serious people this is not brand new you have smelled this before but what this is good for this good for performance man the performance is going to be really impressive if you really want to project or make impression just put on five sprays on your shirt and skin combined do not spray on your neck if possible middle eastern fragrance i do not do that uh, just go out okay so preferably you will get the best performance after evening the sun goes down and the winter time it will have really good seven to eight hours plus performance projection is uh, around two hours so uh, why do i say after the sunset because at that time there's not going to be enough sun light or uh, maybe the direct sunlight to kill your fragrance or make it like gone quickly you will get good performance even in the sticky sweaty situation you know, like say clubbing and stuff you will get good performance it's good for dating it's good for unisex uh, ladies who love the smell i really really like this smell this is very nice it's a very common sweet uh, kind of say funny stupid stupid funny whatever is the impression expression this is a very uh, stupid don't get if, if you're watching lots of people do not get me wrong i'm not trying to say the fragrance is stupid it's like common people you know like movies like american pie okay if you know that's a stupid crazy movie and then some of the other movies like where the teen flicks you know that's comedy and also a lot of laughter and stupid jokes but this is kind of like those movies you know it's a it makes a puts a smile in your face so is this a masterpiece or something you never smell before no this is not a masterpiece this is a fragrance which you bound to like if you like sweet fragrances lamal sorry uh, ultra male ck reveal uh, those clubbing fragrances if you like sweetness so what you don't get you don't get seriousness you don't get spices you do not get that barbershop feel and it feels a little bit teenager like like a youthful fragrance so this is for young people this is for people who are uh, taking their life not so seriously they are running after women they are trying to seek compliments this is what's gonna uh, this is what that's gonna do but uh, is this a compliment garner or i haven't worn it enough to say but there's no such guarantee people will give you compliments sometimes people smell you and they just don't have good culture they're like uh, he's wearing atar he's wearing body spray you hear this do not be disheartened you know you know what you're wearing so for a 30 dollars price tag this achieves all that and then the shortcomings are it's not a very formal or very high class occasion i have i applied this one once in a while my thing is finished like the content is finished but this is good uh, lotion some people laugh yeah but uh, parachute skin pure deep moisture you can see that there's a uh, shea butter and coconut milk so if you like this kind of a uh, suntan lotion sweetness and also fragrance like uh, virgin island water give it a try it reminds me of mango coconut ice creams desserts and i think a little bit of a tropical sunset uh, sunrise kind of a cruise and that salt it's always there it's it, it stops from being it like a super ultrasonic sweetness that uh, tropical that palm tree sort of a saltiness that you find on the beach you know you smell the air it also has that so it's a very nice uh, very nice combination well done perfumer well done it's a like a massive like a crowd pleaser sort of if you're going to say lankawi or somewhere in the destination of holiday during eid or christmas take this fragrance with you you'll you enjoy this immensely and I think one last thing is the Yara Thus or something, the yellow one has some uh, connection to this. So yeah, uh, give it a try. My uh, initial impression, this is a very good fragrance if you want to get the full bottle. If you like the description, if you like fragrances, like I think it is more closer to Lamal Elixir than Lamal, uh, Le, like Le Bole Parfum and w 1 million Royal. So if you like those, give it a try. A thumbs up from me. Uh, I give this fragrance like 8.7 out of 10. Okay, thanks for watching. One more video, then we'll upload it. Hopefully, I answered all your questions, right? Uh, but always try a fragrance before buying. We are just giving out two cents. Take care.